like this. Not the straightest cut, but it'll work. Roll this extra back up. Lay it over here. Get it out of the way. Let me hold this up here and see if I screwed it up or not. cover. I hope. Yeah, we should have plenty. Okay. I'm going to use this paint here to hold this as a peel. All right, you're gonna use your window applicator. You're gonna spray it on this film and then spray it on the window itself. That'll kind of help you maneuver it around until you get it the way you like. They recommend taping these corners onto something so it helps when you pull, but you know, you already heard me once say I'm kind of a wing it guy, so. Can't even get the backing off. Okay, there we go. Alright, this is where I'm going to sit the paint can to kind of hold it. I'm going to do the same thing. So this kind of serves as my, my tape. Paint can on each end because. I would recommend be pretty generous with this stuff. Give you more uh, play room with it so it doesn't start sticking before you get all the air bubbles and exact location. Okay, got that. I'm going to coat the window. Alright. I'm going to get my little card it came with to get the air bubbles out. This is how I'm going to trim the excess. It's got a very tiny blade on it, so. Here goes nothing. Put it in my pocket. Hopefully the transfer won't be too difficult. Might want to get you a towel down because it's going to drip. You might can see it there. But that's okay. There's nothing you can do about it. You can kind of see why you want to why you want to spray gives you some playroom this camper's got some grooves kind of hard to get in there pull it this way so want to make sure all of it's covered before I start getting my air bubbles out and before I trim it kind of 
see that there, I hope. Oh, geez. Alright, so I'm going to just start at one end and run it up all the way to the edge. Try running it down. I think running it down works better. If this stuff sticks like it's supposed to, it's going to make camping a little bit more enjoyable having some privacy. not so hot we live down here in south georgia so we tend to camp on the the gulf coast panhandle of florida um georgia alabama we haven't really gone to the coast of georgia um our personal opinion the beach is prettier panama city destin santa rosa so if anybody's coast uh camping on the coast of georgia don't take it personal Plus, we're closer to Panama City anyways. And we've got, as you saw, I've got two little girls. So their driving time is, are we there yet? Every 30 minutes. We try to camp within about 180 mile distance from our house. Now, these windows are kind of rounded. So, it might be a little bit more difficult to get the... Get it to stay. Because everything's kind of bunching up down here at the end, but I might can fix that when I trim. Like I said, it comes with like a little small razor blade. Uh, I think it's got a small blade on it to keep you from maybe sticking the blade too far back into the window. Um, but if you got a razor blade at the house, I would be willing to bet it worked just fine. So I've got this little razor blade here. It's come in that little package. Put this in my pocket. So I'm gonna start cutting to see how this uh, works. And once you cut it, you're gonna have to go around with that card again to get the rest of that extra window applicator out of there. So I'm just gonna follow this groove on the window. It seems to be pretty sharp. Let's see if I can get a straight cut. I don't want them to come up, which we've got curtains too, so it'll cover this. Maybe put some, apply some pressure on it. on there, I'll tell you that. It'd be easier if these are squared windows, but
for the record, I'm not very much of a handyman other than the simple stuff. So I can pull this off. My wife will be happy. I'll be real happy. I didn't waste all my money on the product. So needless to say, if I can do it, y'all can do it. You see, I'm peeling off the extra here. Not bad. I'm gonna grab this towel and kind of clean up all this application. Don't want to have you a handy towel. I'm going to go back again. Now, I didn't cut the best edge. That tool does okay. Um, it says, it recommends not to do this on a window that's direct sunlight. So, the sun's on the other side of the camper right now. So, I'll do these two big windows that one bedroom window and I'll work on the uh, other one either this afternoon or in the morning but I kind of just wanted to make a video to show you at least one window hopefully it'll help if not thanks for watching sorry I wasted probably five six minutes of your life Far, this is I mean, it's staying up there. Um, I'm new to YouTube. My channel, I guess, is just my name, Chandler Medley. Um, I'll post videos of just majority camping stuff. Um, I know I've relied on YouTube for a lot, so I, when I try to tackle a project. I like to try to document it in case somebody didn't get exactly what they needed on another video. Maybe I can help them out. I'm going to leave it at that. Let me grab my phone and, you know, it's not fully dry or anything, so keep that in mind. But as you can see there. Not the best cut in the world. That little blade's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to get. But I got a little bit more trimming to do in that corner.